What's the deal with having to get a new wardrobe when you go full keto? And what would it look like to see the haul of the new clothes? Hi, in case you're new to this channel, I'm Slick Nick, your personal keto bro. And no, I'm not a doctor, a dietitian, a nutritionist, a personal trainer. I'm just some random guy on the internet who's approaching his 40th birthday, decided to go all in on this keto thing. And I'm at the point now where I had to officially start getting new clothes. I was tired of the sleeves on my shirts, even my t-shirts just being longer than they need to. It felt like the neck was stretched out. It just wiggled around. I didn't like that. Didn't feel comfortable. So here's what happened. This past weekend, I was at my parents' house in Alabama where I'm from and my wife and I decided, hey, let's go to Walmart because our our kids were being watched by my parents and my sister and her husband. So let's escape to Walmart in this small town in Alabama that I'm from. So what I wanted to get there, I, I told her, I said, you know what? Now that I know, based on the previous video from Friday, you saw me, I can wear the size medium and the white t-shirts. And I was just experimenting on that. They were cheap. I got a three pack for like six bucks. I was like, but really black is the color. I like wearing them the, the, the most. Most of my t-shirts are black. I like them because they can get dirty or stained in the armpits and no one really knows, right? So I, I like black. So we went there. Clearly, yeah, I ended up getting <laughs> some black t-shirts. My original plan was just to get like five of them, uh, but they didn't have a, like a five pack of them. You had to buy them individually for like three bucks. So I did do that. But in the process of that, ended up getting other clothes. So let's go through it. And I will say it was me and my wife and she definitely was encouraging me to get more clothes. She's always telling me, Nick, some of your clothes you've owned since before I even knew you. So I will say that having got the new clothes I have, I'm also getting rid of more clothes than even I brought in. But I think for me mentally, I couldn't get rid of my old clothes that were too big or too old until I had clothes that I knew that were gonna be the new smaller size, which is actually a medium for me, uh, that would really unlock that ability to get rid of the clothes. So starting out, so yeah, here's one of my new t-shirts uh, that's, that's gonna be black. That's gonna be, like it's gonna change, <laughs> it's gonna change colors. But yeah, I mean, I got two of these. These are just right here, Fruit of the Loom, size medium, it was three bucks from Walmart. And yeah, it, it, this is the epiphany I really want to start out with saying this too, is that when I was in high school and in college, American Eagle was my brand. And then after that, I kind of switched over to Gap and Old Navy. But it's funny, clothes that we buy here in the United States are all made overseas, mainly in Asia. So it's like, why let myself have a stigma of buying clothes from Walmart? It's they're fine like this is high quality shirt so yeah here we go here's black t-shirt again size medium and the whole concept is i need to pull up a chair to put these on the whole concept is that i'm smaller now so why don't i get clothes that fit because it's such a subtle difference especially for men when you wear clothes that fit right i mean that's one of the benefits of going keto is you can look good in clothes that actually fit you instead of since I got my dad bought it at age 35, and now that I've gotten rid of it at almost 40, is that the problem I was running into was I was just having to get bigger clothes to cover up the fact that I had more fat on my body. Now it's the opposite. This is quite a celebration. I'm celebrating being smaller and having clothes that are smaller, but specifically clothes that look good on me. So here we go. My wife insisted that I get uh, this color. I, I like this color. This this blue that was gonna go well with some of the other shirts you got. I, I got. This is uh, George, that's the brand. This was a $4 shirt from Walmart. So uh, I suppose you'll be seeing these in videos to come. And then while I was at it, I got this, I think the color is called Slate, dark gray, uh, for the charcoal. So it's like black too. I was like, well, instead of getting three black ones, we're gonna get two and uh, get a charcoal here. So, uh, so there's those shirts. And let me go ahead and actually move over to, well, while I'm at it. So one of the things too, my wife tells me, Nick, 
your underwear. How long do you need to keep these underwear? So I got some new underwear. I'm excited about this. Boxer briefs, you know. Briefs in high, in high school, in junior high, moved over to boxer shorts in college. Get married, your wife wants you to wear boxer briefs. In case you don't know that, when you get married, your wife wants you to switch over to boxer briefs. So I just don't throw clothes away. So now that we're married nearly 13 years, I guess I'm gonna officially switch over to boxer briefs. So there we go. So picked up these for like 11 bucks. Athletic Works is the brand. There we go. I will now show you. Speak. If I'm gonna talk about underwear, then I need to talk about socks because that's another one. A lot of my socks are just way old and faded. So, man, for like eight bucks at Walmart, I got two different ones. There were so many good choices. Like the Office, they had the Office too, but and I even like the Muppets ones too. But Super Mario Brothers, like the original game that was introduced here in the United States in 1985. Super Mario, all different colors, that's gonna be fun. So I'm really excited about those Super Mario socks. And the other one I chose, I just had to do it. I couldn't not do Marvel. So each one a different member of the Avengers, that's pretty cool. It's like eight bucks and you get six socks. That's so really cool. So excited about new socks. I've actually given a lot of my older socks to my son. After they got put in the dryer, they fit a 10 year old boy better than they fit a 39 year old man. So he was very excited to get some of my old socks. And even that Tom and Jerry t-shirt I've had forever, I went ahead and gave it to him too. So I'm giving him some of my uh, shirts and everything else will either go to my dad or my, my brother-in-law. Okay, so this was a hoodie that my wife found uh, for $9. Very, very nice quality, very thick. But I don't own anything quite like this. I don't own any hoodies that are size medium. This is my first one. So a striped hoodie. Uh, it's got buttons right here. This is the George brand. So really excited about that. I'll probably be wearing that after I do this video. All right, next up, swim trunks. We're gonna be going to Florida in a couple months. And she said, hey, do you need new swim trunks? I was like, I, I mean, I, I have some. I don't know that I need to replace them. I think my wife just likes me to get new swim trunks every year because she does that way with bathing suits. So she said, hey, here for seven bucks, we rang them up and when we paid, there were three bucks. So I was like, yeah, they, they look kind of, I was showing you backwards, there we go. But yeah, they're kind of retro and they're not board shorts. I like shorter, shorter shorts. I do, I feel more comfortable in those. So this is fun. All right, I will close this video by showing you my favorite part about all of this. And that is, this is a reward to those of you who held out this far into the video, is that I am going to totally be adopting this Western style. So something to know about me, uh, you know, obviously I've already established I was raised here in the South. I live in Tennessee, but I was uh, born and raised in Alabama. So in college, I, I, was, I was in uh, Virginia. And that's when I got into uh, going to the rodeos, the, the bull riding competitions. And that we would do that like every weekend. And so then I ended up getting one of these Western shirts at like Goodwill or whatever. Thing is, it didn't fit. I've, I own several, and actually I own several like this from American Eagle from like 20 years ago, but the, they were the wrong size. They were big, but I got them on clearance. So... Finally, for the first time, I have Western shirts that are size medium and they fit well. See, I think it can kind of get dorky when you have button down uh, collar shirts, they're short sleeves, they, just, they can kind of seem dorky like Dwight Schrute. But this has style to it and I love these snap buttons with the little kind of jewel on them. So, these are Wrangler, these are Wrangler. And when I do find buy my, first official keto pair of jeans, I'm actually planning on buying a Wrangler brand. Uh, just because they fit in a non sloppy looking way. But this is fun. Look at this, this is, this is fun. So, 15 bucks for this. And my wife's like, you might as well get some more if you like them. So I also got the blue one, this light blue. And, nice accent here, I got the teal one. So I got pale blue and teal. I know they're somewhat similar, but I like them both. 
And so those are all short sleeves, 15 bucks. But what's funny is I happen to find this on all by itself. So this purple one I'm very excited about. So it's the same exact cut, it's just a long sleeve. And it got it for nine bucks. So it's funny because it was actually cheaper than the short sleeve ones. So same exact concept, but purple, that's cool. I'm getting rid of a purple shirt I've owned since before I knew my wife. So uh, I traded out my one purple shirt for a new one. And then lastly, uh, this one's a little bit different. This is a thicker, it's more, more like a flannel. Uh, it's the slim fit, um, but man, it, I like the way it fits, it fits really well. And it's actually not these snap buttons. But ultimately, I feel that I want to adopt my official style. I, I, when it comes to shirts, I, I think they can be boring when they're just, you know, okay, here's a colored shirt. But these have style that are not necessarily something crazy. They're, they're, just, they're just different enough. Uh, and I'm not going to start wearing cowboy boots, but because I've tried that before and they're very uncomfortable. But this whole Western style thing, and it's funny because my wife's from California. She is from out west, but this the hangers fallen. So this is the transformation over to Western clothing. And I am planning to get those Rangers, but first I gotta, I really want to get my size situated. I wanna know for sure exactly what my pant size will be. Uh, right now, even the pants I'm wearing now are 32, 32, but uh, ideally I'm probably 31, 31. It might, I might even get down to 30, we'll see. I, I don't want to invest in pants yet, but shirts I know for a fact that I'm not gonna get smaller than a medium. And I, I already even tried on a small just to be sure, but. Yeah, I love it. So this is this is where I'm going. This has kind of always been a part of me, especially in college, I started getting into this more, but this is comfortable. I like this, this is for me. Your comments belong right here. And remember, the whole point of this video was, you go keto, you get to look better in clothes and probably downsize. Comments are right here.